to share it all. Every day I still hope that one day you will feel the same Cause I think it's me that keeps pulling me right into your arms But if you fell it too I want to feel that cold touch of your hands Don't you know is torture, or you make me feel. If I thought you can, or if I thought would you run? Am I all that you need, just like you want to make it up in the world? If I try, would you try to give me all of your time? Tell me all Before we invite her here, we're going to have something really special. Definitely. So um, imagine yourself living without the voice of Claudia Santos, right? You cannot, exactly. right? Of course. Yeah. And you know what? That's why today we are celebrating Indonesia's uh, National Music Day. So happy National Music Day to everyone. Uh, and of course, uh, my family loves music. Yes, indeed. Uh -huh. uh, but I never listen to my dad's cassette because it's more of my mom because she's the one that's from ah. here. Um, yeah, so I, I listened to her groove. Uh, Krishya is one of them. Always. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. So I was like brought up with that. What about you? Um, so I grew up with, why do you love me so sweet and tenderly? You don't want to hear me sing, but... <laughs> uh, but you just it's, sang, by the way. Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> this is so big for me because there was an Indonesian brother, like, a brother band. Yeah. They're a whole family, Kus Plus, mm -hmm. and they sang in English because they were so inspired by the Beatles. Right. And I thought it was such a great thing. So, um, there's a lot of different artists, of course, that we have to talk about, Legendary and Titi Puspa and everybody else. and. My mother uh, does love Andy Di Puspa, so yeah. Yeah, definitely. And she was here, by the way, in one of our show, Buddy Talk yeah. with Papa Lily. So anyways, uh, you know, who is your favorite Indonesian musician? As always, because right now we are celebrating National Music Day. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to give big respect and a tribute to them. That's right. So yes, as she's mentioned before, March 9th is the day uh, other than Akira's birthday. We celebrate National Music Day. <laughs> and with the pandemic easing, it's so beautiful because now we can attend live events again, singing freely without wearing masks, thank God. Mm. And musicians are now excited to release their new project. Let's take a look. <laughs>
kesal di dasar hati Diam tak mau pergi Haruskah aku lari dari kenyataan ini Pernah ku mencoba untuk sembunyi Namun senyummu tetap Definitely, we didn't have the clip of Claudia Santos right there because she's right here in our studio. Yeah, Claudia, or you know, you like to be called as Audi, which one? Audi, Audi. Yes, Audi. Right. Okay. So congratulations! Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much. We're gonna go back to the past to kind of reminisce. You know, the yes. 2019, where you are the first Asian woman to uh, win yes. as the uh, from Voice Germany. Okay. How? I just want to know the journey before we ask the, the questions about you know our National Music Day and whatnot. How was it for you in 2019? It was actually very exciting for me. Yeah. Because I tried to get into the college there in mm -hmm. Germany. But instead, I did audition for The Voice of Germany. Why not, right? Why Since you're you, there? Why not? <laughs> yeah. And I really love singing. Mm -hmm. Music has been my, uh, a part of my life right. since I was a little kid. And I tried to enroll myself to The Voice of Germany. And then I got the um, casting calling right. and stuff. And people like my blind audition so much. And then I became the winner. I love yeah. that. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. It's so also much. very suspended when you have the, you know, the judges, you know, kind of like turn around for you yeah. and see you, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I love that part. Yeah. Yeah, so you sang a beautiful song. I mean, it was just so scenic. You're, you sounded so angelic. You don't if, need any microphone, by yeah, the way. If you try. Yeah. So can you tell us about your latest single, If You Try? If I try, um, my latest single is actually my, I don't know, it's like the first ever song I've written with my friends, with my musician friends there. Mm -hmm. And it's like published right now. Um, you can stream it in every music platform, by the way. Yeah. And actually it's inspired by a Korean drama called True Beauty. If you guys yes, know. I know that one. I haven't yeah. seen it, but I know that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was so crazy, the hype. And I also watch it. And I actually, I was searching for a theme that day when we had the songwriting session. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, why not? Why not writing from a Korean drama? And I think everyone could relate to the story mm -hmm. because it's very like, you know, teeny love story, right. teenager love story, and I am very proud of this song because um, I got a scholarship from the oh. German government for this song, like wow. to, to publish this song, mm. and yeah, so that's the story of If I Try. <laughs> Uh, by the way, these two women, uh, they were kind of living brought up in Germany. So in I'm like, city. I'm in like in Switzerland city. right now. In the same city too. But, but of course, yeah. yeah, go ahead. No, but Germany looks very different now when I was there and now you're there. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe. I think <laughs> Could so, be. Yeah. Definitely, I think you guys should catch up like near the corner. There must yeah. be a coffee shop there. I don't know what yeah. kind of shop is there. But <laughs> back to your uh, singing career, usually there's a lot of musicians in Indonesia. They want to go international. It's quite hard you know, yeah. to mm -hmm. kind of surpass that and having that journey. But you know the hen. I mean, you're not only lucky because, of course, you have that talent. Now you're there and you already have your somewhat your music journey. Um, how does it work with like you go to school and then you also have like your musicality there and whatnot. You're you're professional as an as a musician now there, and it seems that you're captivated the people there. So you're you're somewhat already go international without you know having that big journey. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's very um, a little bit hard for me to like juggle between the all of the um, study stuff and the career. But I try my best. Of course. I mean, like, um, I do music for a living and I also study music, so it's kind of supporting one yeah. another. Mm, okay, so you're, you're also studying music. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, uh, it is Indonesian National Music Day. Mm. And what is your wish for the Indonesian music industry? Because now that you're already active abroad, coming back, how does it feel and what do you wish for? Uh, what wishes do you have for it? So, First of all, like I have a message for everyone in Indonesia, especially the musicians. There's a saying in German, like 
niemals aufhören. Mm. Do you know what it means? It means well, I know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Yes. So it means never give up. And yeah, do not ever give up. Do of not course. ever stop in everything that you do because it will eventually pay off and yeah. it's gonna be worth it someday even if you don't see the result yet. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I really believe in that. And it's also um, in my story, like before winning the Voice of Germany, I did a lot of music talent scouting. Mm -hmm. I did a lot, of, a lot of competitions and I got um, countless no's, countless rejection, and but but I never stopped. And now I became the winner of the Voice of Germany, and I don't stop yeah. until that. You've done your deeds. You're, yeah. You've done the nitty gritty, right? Because yeah. some people will only see your journey throughout 2019, and they thought, oh, okay, it was your lucky star, and you got it. Yeah. Um, you you captivated like the people there and also you win it. True. But it turns out before that you already have a long, a long journey. journey for you to be there. That's and right. that's I guess not only as a musician, I think in every part and what you do that you're passionate about if you do, if we all follow your footsteps, hopefully one day we're gonna get our lucky start too. Now, yeah. in regards to, we heard that you're also preparing a new project. Is this something that you can tell us more or give us a sneak yeah. preview of this? Yeah, I think I'm dropping an exclusive right now. Um, so, I'm doing a project right now with SRN, SRN Entertainment and SRN Production. So, okay. it's their first um, project collaboration ever. And I'm preparing my first mini album. Oh, oh nice. And I'm very excited for it. Besides that, I'm also gonna collaborate with Indonesian um, legendary musicians oh such God. as Sandy Sandoro. Oh yeah. Baby Romeo. Yeah. Oh. And I'm very excited for that. Definitely. Cannot have cannot have the German girl sing with not the German guy. And <laughs> definitely you heard it first right here at Sea Today yes. News, everybody. Yeah. She's sure. spilling the tea, Claudia. Yes. Yep. Awesome. And we're I going did. to continue and she's gonna continue spilling some tea, I hope, because see the stories will continue after the break. Still with Audi right here with us, don't go anywhere, stay tuned.